Putin just destroyed a central argument Trump used. Some on social media have pointed out that President Vladimir Putin's promise to release journalist Evan Gershkovich for me, but not for anyone else, contradicts what Donald Trump had said before. Nevertheless, Putin ultimately fulfilled this promise. The release of Gershkovich occurred on Thursday as part of a prisoner swap involving 24 inmates from several Western nations, including Russia, Belarus, the US, and others. The 16 individuals released by Moscow included both foreign nationals and political prisoners from within the country, while the eight individuals released by Western nations included spies convicted of crimes and Vadim Krasikov, the man found guilty of the murder of a dissident living in exile in Berlin. As a favor to himself, Trump implied on May 23 on his Truth Social website that Putin will release Gershkovich following the 2024 presidential election. The Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, who is currently detained by Russia, will be released almost shortly after the election, but definitely before I become office, the Republican presidential candidate stated. With his loved ones by his side, he will be back home. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, will do it for me alone, no one else, and we won't have to pay a dime. Several political analysts addressed the release of Gershkovich in their tweets on X, previously Twitter noting that it occurred contrary to Trump's claims on Truth Social. The return of U.S. political prisoners in Russia, notably Wall Street Journal writer Evan Gershkovich, is a welcome development, observed Nicholas Grossman, an international affairs professor at the University of Illinois. Would love to know what the U.S. traded for. Was it the United States that paid the price, or did Russia's calculations shift? I can't help but notice that Trump insisted he was the only one capable of doing this. Looks like Putin has quickly lost faith that Trump will win in November, wrote David Frum, a writer and former speechwriter for President George W. Bush, who posted about the prisoner exchange. Secured his reward for kidnapping hostages ahead of schedule just this month, Gershkovich received a 16-year prison term following his conviction for espionage. The U.S. State Department, his employer, and the Wall Street Journal all maintained that the accusations were false when asked about Trump's repeated assertion that he could have gotten the hostages out without paying anything in exchange. President Joe Biden addressed the matter during his Thursday news conference. President Trump responded by asking, why didn't he do it when he was president? Russian authorities did not apprehend Gershkovich until March 2023, although they have jailed Paul Whelan, another American involved in the trade, since December 2018. So when are they going to divulge the specifics of the prisoner swap with Russia? Trump said in his post. Were they able to get more people than us? Can we also pay them in cash? Could you kindly remove the question about if they are providing us with cash? I am certain that the answer is no. Is this a release of thugs, killers, or murderers? We are always shady at making deals, but hostage swaps are the worst. Just thought you may be interested. No matter what, our so-called negotiators never fail to shame us. Even though I never offered the enemy country any money, I was able to get back a lot of captives. It would set a poor example for what's to come. This issue will only worsen if that is not the way things are. They are trying to blackmail America. They're trying to hide how terrible the trade is by labeling it as complicated. On Thursday night, when Gershkovich, Whelan, also Kermashiva, a Russian-American journalist, and Vladimir Karamurza, a green card holder, touched down at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland, Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were there to receive them.